Nogus is always ready. Okay. Um, okay, we are definitely live right now. Um, I'm here with with the man, the myth, the legend. I don't know which one of your nicknames should we even talk about. Is it what? What do you like? Which one is your favorite? I have no idea, really. Uh, Moriarty. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, but I'm not sure if I like it too much. So, father. Um, that one is pretty cool as well, but um, master. <laughs> it's just I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I don't have a perfect one yet. Okay, I thought if I'm talking about Arnold's thing, we have pretty big event coming up. You know, it's uh, one thing is what I know. The other thing is uh, with the man that knows everything knows. And uh, I just wanted to pick your brains about something. Before we start, I want to congratulate you. I think I sent you a message, but double world champion. Double gold is beautiful, right? <laughs> it was really good. Really good. I was worried yeah. with the left, but then you composure yeah, yeah. everything just, pulled it together. i really got uh got it together and uh, yeah. just kept slapping myself to wake up and uh, it worked yeah uh great performance tough class uh some guys are already gunning for you for a rematch right 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 yeah with no Steve that left that left hand was a bit uh shaky that's why i was just so happy when i actually got it done because i knew that okay tomorrow the next day it's going to be a different day. And it was much easier, I feel like, on the right. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Um, I, I watched it, and I watched all the matches after, and I, I was really happy with you, for you. You know, I'm, I'm really happy. And I think... Uh, thank you, son. In, in, <laughs> thank you, father. Uh, in past, I think, you know, three, two years, your whole perspective of armor sync has changed. You're not afraid to go to some places, right? I think the whole thing with arm wars, I, I really think that it helped you as an arm wrestler. I think you are definitely better. You're not afraid of things. And uh, you're what do you mean exactly? <clears throat> you, you will not be afraid to pull a long match. You will not be afraid to put yourself maybe in position where, you know, where you think, oh, you know, I only have this option and testing yourself, you know, you have way more options than you thought before, right? Uh, a few years ago, it was just one move. And now that move is perfect. We all know, but there's way more, there's way more. And, uh, you know, I, I think you just look better on table. It's uh, that's mm -hmm. that's how I see it. Like that's more complete, complete, right? Um, I I feel you're more balanced, like more, more confident in everything. Like more confidence in in all those positions, right? No, you're you're not scared of any position, any opponent, anything. You're you're happy to go and test yourself right there, and uh, just improve, improve, improve. And uh, no, for sure, the past couple of years, I feel like I uh, I made some good improvements. But even before that, I, I don't think I was afraid to sit in the longer matches or be a bit more defensive. I think that was always my thing. But yes. now, yeah, just, but just... I think you put more brains now behind it. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like everything is just, just connected. Uh, and now, yeah, it seems like I always know the answer to any kind of technical problem. So, yeah. With right arm, was it easy day? No, no problems uh the day was if i can i don't know how much time we we can talk about it but it started in a very weird way um because uh i got that stomach virus so as soon as i wake up early early morning i just ran to the toilet uh and i kept sitting on the toilet un until everything came out uh couldn't couldn't get that get up before then so um immediately decided to not eat any breakfast basically no food just uh salt water that's it and uh, so the, and you know in the morning it was still okay felt uh, like i had some energy but then the yusuf match um it was really difficult already by that time to to re maintain my energy and levels and so on so yeah a bit complicated but uh you know it's just one day of not a big deal. Uh, I, I I know for a fact that uh, like when Vlad was in Kazakhstan, he had some super match a few years ago. He also got food poisoning. Mm -hmm. Like he, he said he felt so terrible when he, 
And I heard a lot of people that <laughs> yeah, got it plenty, there, right? of, almost everyone. And we are always shaking hands, hugging, or whatever. Yeah. So it just spreads like crazy. So, what was? Do you think that was the reason why we didn't see some of the guys that we wanted to see in hundred kilo class? You know what Poss I'm talking about, right? Possibly yes, but I also heard some other reasons. Because they have matches, or just you know. Yeah, maybe some some of them had matches. Some Georgians failed a little bit of registration, I believe. Mm. Uh, so yeah. Cannot really confirm anything, but um, that's what I heard. Like a true politician, can I confirm or deny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, not going to throw anyone under the bus, right? That's pretty yeah. much what you said. Yeah. yeah. So all, overall, uh, you are really happy with your performance. I was kind of shocked that you managed to go to 70 kilos. It's right? amazing, right? How hard was that? Because you've been working around, like, not bigger than 75, but 76, 77, right? That yeah, was 76, point. 77 for yeah. quite a while already. Uh -huh. yeah. So, yeah, I was worried myself. And um, I didn't know if I can do it at all. So now, after being successfully doing it, maybe I'm even more confident. Um, maybe I can just do it again. I, I think I, now I know how to do it. But uh, so I think me gaming over a couple of good weekends helped me to just you know sit almost forget the food uh just uh, do nothing it really helped me to drop down some initial kilos mm -hmm. and when i got confident i thought okay i basically just uh jumped on uh, low carbs low carb diet so basically zero carbs and in that way uh the body got it's carnivore i know you so it's carnivore. yeah like Cat or carnival, whatever. But, uh, and in that way, the body almost got used to just uh, living on fat a little bit. So, whenever I started to cut down on calories, I feel like the body was very comfortable by just consuming its own storage, mm. you know. Um, so, and didn't feel that bad at all. And then, of course, some water loading and uh, just water cutting the last. Yeah, 18 hours so well, yeah good if you get that uh, diarrhea day before weigh-ins right just uh, yeah i think i had nothing in my stomach anyway so <laughs> but so, yeah so difficult but also not too difficult so manageable somehow what's the weight now 76 maybe so it's back to normal <laughs> So do you plan next year, try the same thing, or you will see how this goes? Pretty much. I guess I will just see how it goes. I'm not that, um, I was a bit more motivated this time because I never had any gold medals at WAF. And I thought that, okay, this is the time to, to get them. And so, perfect, I did it. And now maybe I can still start experimenting more again in 75 kilo class, see what I, how far can I go. Mm. So I'm not that, um, how to say, I'm not panicking as much anymore. Now I can just lose a little bit in the 75 kilo class if I have to. Mm. I got my gold. I'm pretty happy now. That's that's amazing gold. You got uh, two, not just one, right? Yes, sir. I was watching the qualification. I thought, okay, I'm like, most likely you're going to get a silver. I thought, right, you look good. Like, uh, should, All right. shouldn't be any, sh maybe, you know, some guys will cause problems, but you should win, right? And, uh, yeah, you both won both. That was, um, we, are, we were really happy. For and that. also in Kazakhstan, which is somehow uh, also like a, yes. a big factor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Very, very impressive. And August. Um, finally, you. you got that title. And uh, uh, do you have anything? Uh, are you going to World Combat Games? No. No. Somehow, I don't know. Why do people go to those games? Is it somehow. That was 2022. Like people who like they get good placing with both arms, like in the middle, some they qualified. And so and, and it's kind of weird if you qualified in one class, you have to go for that class, even if you go for lower class. I know Fia qualified, she was what she was 70 kilos, and now she has to compete in 70, but she was 65 now. Mm. So it's it's kind of weird. And uh yeah. Okay, so you had to qualify during Worlds, WAF Worlds, or? last last year's Worlds, because they ah, I don't I know how often they do those, and uh, yeah, for us, 
So Kristaps was in reserve. Like if someone doesn't go, Kristaps and Santa and uh, Sanus was the only one who qualified. I think they they took the average of both arms because they're going to do both left and right, mm-hmm. and they need eight athletes that are kind of in between and uh, yeah, some, something like that. But do they have any prize money or what? Or is it just? I don't think so. They they pay, like uh, for athletes they pay for everything. It's free oh, trip. Pay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Not, okay, it's now I see why. In, you know, World Comet Games. But yeah, I didn't get any invitation, so I guess I was, uh, guess was not, not even an option for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. But yeah, I thought maybe maybe you would go, but then they would put you in a different class, maybe an 80 kilo class, right? Because you, if you would qualify, 75. But uh, yeah, weird. Christophs didn't qualify. Christophs was reserved, so I, I don't know. Hmm. It's It's weird. Weird, 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 weird. Um, so we have uh, biggest event, in my opinion, that we're going to see. And the matches are kind of crazy and amazing. And I want to, I want to add, like, have you thought, you thought about, you have talked about these, right? You have talked about these matches already. Not yet. I don't think so. Not yet. Uh, no, not yet. But you know most Maybe of them. Maybe some right? of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Because I will, I want to, I want to test how good you are at predicting armor slam i'm very good you're very good very good some would say best right uh so yeah. i'm gonna i'm gonna write down whatever you write say down. In, and we will check it later sure sure let's cool. do it yeah, yeah. okay but wait a second just a question for me um before we jump into that question for you just for me yeah because okay. we didn't we didn't uh talk to each other for a while i'm just wondering how are you feeling oh um, after the loss against me and so on that was amazing that was the best thing that could happen to me maybe you're building some hopes again to try again i don't know i think i'm too big to for you is your 70 kilo pull oh, you're, you're would, not would, don't focus on weight mess these, mess these arms with you anymore don't focus on weight just try try to get at least one win against me come on Good. Let's meet in a hook and we'll see which was what's what. On the right, I can do it. No problem. On the right, you can do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You heard it first. Pure hook. Pure hook. Pure hook. Oh, slap you silly. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> no, no, that's how it starts. No, I took. Um, I, I went to last arm wars. I don't know. It was August or start of September. My shoulder, like it, it was kind of weird before hanging, but after that match, it was just terrible and just like you you know where you know where my big weakness is and it was just terrible it just got worse i i could get mm-hmm. in and couldn't finish anyone and it was just so i took off i think about eight weeks uh, canceled all the matches did everything now four weeks at home everything feels really really good like i i'm pretty sure i'm the best i have been because i i just i've been training every day and rehabbing the shoulder and just working on those things just on table the past few weeks just everything just clicks yeah i uh, watched that video of you and some other guys like lad and, and the rest even toms yeah that's like that, you you did well so that, that, that's an interesting story there so on we usually pull like Giannis club will pull on thursday so i i come and pull with them but i, I train every day I, I like literally every day there's no days off and um I'll pull most of the days. So I pulled with them and nothing. They couldn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like even with Raimonds, he was kidding. And he was, was he said, like, let's do ready goes. And he said, okay, I'll say the go. And he hits and then he says, uh-huh. yeah, like that. So I was like, I don't know if they're just weak or I'm so, I don't know. So next day, Kaspers comes. And so we practice all with Kaspers after I did three, three hours with them. Same thing. And then I was like, I hit up Kristaps, so and I was like, I'm going to go and check them out, right? So we go. Of course, Vlad is stronger at the uh-huh. start, right? But then it kind of, you, yeah. you saw, right? So I, I think I'm, I'm in a decent shape, and uh, now I'm looking at competition. I might go to Lithuania because they have competition before we have uh-huh. on, on uh, 4th of November. I, I still don't know it, but I, I just, you know, you need to test these things. I feel like I feel amazing. Like again, yeah, maybe that uh, short break gave you some nice freshness and something like that, or what? I think two things, right? Uh, first, I've been traveling. I have already 22 trips this year. 20, so that's a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a lot, and it's more than three or three and a half months 
not being home. So most of the time you don't like I train at home. I love my gym. I don't mm-hmm. like other gym. Right. So now I've been at home for four weeks. It's just consistency, consistency, yeah. consistency. And like just working on the things that I should have been working with my shoulder, right. With my arms and everything. So I think those two things, it's always focus, you know, focus, you, you, you know, this, you put, yeah, and also if you're arm wrestling every day, that's also pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, I'm just doing like once a week, uh, so. I I would arm wrestle like sometimes there's no one to arm wrestle, so I will do my gym training and I'll just wait till someone comes, mm-hmm. like from Yanis Club or someone or from, and just because I just you know that's the part I love, right? So I would do it. And uh, the worst part was last Thursday we practiced, and I beat everyone. It was worst practice for me because I don't like it. Mm-hmm. And I need I need to struggle, and it was fine. So now I'm, I'll, I'll test it and see how it goes. The, the things that I did with my right shoulder, I still did with left, and left just like the things that uh, was bothering me with your uh-huh. in your match, it's better now. I still couldn't top roll you, right? But there's more options in my opinion. Right, right, right. So it feels good, and uh, yeah, we'll see. I, I wanted to do armors, but they don't have any events this year. I think left. Uh, we'll see. January. January. Yeah, January. Yeah, yeah. You coming? No. Ah, come on. <laughs> I don't know. We should, you know, we should think about it. Okay, we'll get back to it. Yeah. yeah. But okay, so yeah, good update on your level. Yeah. Maybe we can repeat it one day. Of course, I would win, but still, I I, I just feel I, like it, it's I, fun. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, in in a hook. Oh my God, this guy's. And now is the delusion of that aside. No, I need to just win against you again so I can be reminded how good I am. <laughs> no, you need me to win first, someone good. And then right. I, you, okay, sure. Yeah. Right. Sure. I feel I feel like that's that's the path. But yeah. So we need you to take another 16 super matches, win all of them, and then I yeah. come back. I was looking at that year and I thought like the, the best part of I was uh, I had big big stays at home where I trained for Ryan and I trained for another match. And it was like big moments and everything between like, you just keep your shape. Mm-hmm. And I was just in shape the whole year. And, and, uh, in December, yeah, it, it all kind of fell apart and yeah, that's a different story. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, I remember. <laughs> but okay. Are, are, are you coming? Uh, are you coming to East West West the 10? Are you are not coming? So, um, I almost, you know, I, I, I had the match before Makaro canceled. Mm. So I was very happy to be part of, of the big day. Yeah. And then unfortunately, no, not coming anymore. <sighs> I'm not that big of a fan. I'm, I'm not going to sit and watch. Me. What do you think? Uh, no, I, it's, I'm a fan, you know that. But uh, I, I remember when we were watching uh, Gennady and, and Devonpool. Right. And no, the guys, I, I, guys were sitting at the back and they said the funniest thing was when you start stand up and started clapping and I pulled you down <laughs> because Gennady won the second one, right? Yeah, yeah I was I happy was, for Gennady. And then I said, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, who do you want to win? He's like, I want Gennady to win. I said, why? Because Devon's doing too good. <laughs> right. Uh, he cannot have too many wins in a row. Like there must be some balance. How, how surprised were you were uh, Aramis match in Devon? I predicted it quite well, actually. I said Devon will be too, a bit too tall. Aramis will, will find it hard to deal with that lever. And for a top roll, you know, it's important. If the opponent is just a bit taller, then it's just difficult. So, yeah, I think it just went exactly how I predicted. And, uh, yeah, not surprised. But I am predicting Dennis to win. Okay. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to make notes. Okay. I have my notepad here. Perfect. Um, Kamil and Ivan Matyushenko. What are you thinking about that one? You know, you're, you're, you know, Kamil, right? I uh, know. Which arm is it? Right on. Okay. Kamil will just beat Dave Chafee in yeah, a high yeah. five event. Easy. Yeah. Not easy. Come on. Yeah, well. <laughs> But um, yeah, so quite an interesting match. It's nice that Camille finally gets into the game a bit more. 
because I, I feel like he was doing very well for quite a while already. Yep. So he's at a good level. Yeah, he's been armistice for a long time, I think, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think I saw some short clip of him saying that he did it since 2004 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Matyushenko. Hook how... versus press. Normally, Hook should win. Right. All right. But is Matyushenko in a good shape? I believe so. Probably, I'm... yeah, right? Yeah. He, he looked like Terminator versus uh, David Arbuli, but I don't know how strong David Arbuli is compared to, right? Yeah, so it's a bit different level, like just a big frame. Matyshenko, I feel like it's just a bit bigger. Arabuli is just thick. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm almost inclining towards Camille winning. So you think the press will prevail this time? Just because Camille is a, yeah, he's a big guy. He's in a good shape, quite active, motivated. So, yeah, it's a hard, uh, hard uh, decision, but I, I feel like I'm guessing Camille. Just, just guess 50 50, but okay. guessing Camille. Okay. Uh, Matt Mask, Frank Lamparelli. Matt Mask, very easily. Matt Mask, easy? Yeah, very easy. Very easy. Very easy. Uh, you think uh, it's just too much? Um, are you familiar with uh, Lamparelli? Yes, yes, I am. Okay. I think it's just too much. I think Lamparelli is just a natural guy. Matt Mask is in a good shape. I don't know. I feel like it's just too much. Okay. You know, the guy, the natural guy, normally has to be very impressive to be able to deal with some, some, someone on on good diet. <laughs> So, uh, and I don't feel like Lamparelli is impressive enough. Okay. So I feel like it's just very, it's going to be one-sided. Also yeah. the technique, stylistically, uh, Matt is probably even taller. So what is he, what is Lamparelli going to do? Uh, he, Lamparelli tries to topple also, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't see it happening against Matt Mass. Mm. Well, Smart just just like he he ended the streak. He's on the roll. I think he will come in just supercharged. Yeah. Right? But it's it, uh, Lamparel is a good opponent for Matt. But I feel like it's going to be quite easy. Mm. Um, Sasha Artyom Tainov, uh, left arm, world title match. Yep. Mm. And Sasha is also fighting someone else on the same card, right? Yeah, jo Johnny Berzenki. Johnny Berzenki. <laughs> Which match is happening first? Uh, this one, I guess. Left hand, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, isn't that stupid, by the way? Sasha should pull John first, just to, you know, that's, I feel like, a more important match for Sasha. I don't know. I don't oh. know. I, like, I, I really don't like when the guys are doing two matches. Yeah, it does make sense. It And you never, you like, like uh, Dedikian, he thought he will have an easy day, going to go through Prudnik, right? And then the tougher match on yeah. the right. <laughs> Was the opposite, complete opposite, but somehow he managed to do it right. But it like he was exhausted. I was surprised that he won the right arm because he was just right. And some guys would be more affected, some guys are less affected yes. by it. But, um, but yeah. sometimes, it's... well, maybe Sasha can, maybe Sasha, can... yeah, Sasha's he gonna be pull. fine. Yeah, In Sasha can pull right? forever, All right? Yeah. yeah, so maybe it's fine. But still, like uh, it's it's a little bit weird. Like I remember this match of uh, Artem Turnenko versus uh, Ryan Bowen. Also, he was fighting some other Australian before Ryan Bowen. Yes. It's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. Artem Artem had a really tough match, and then you know, yeah. What are you thinking? Um, Tainov is the last guy to beat him in the worlds. And Tainov has a good left, very good left. Yes, so, he beat him on left and took a world title in 2021, like if I'm correct, yeah. So it's it's very hard to judge, actually. I don't really see anyone ha having a big advantage. If Sasha, yeah, it's just always, if Sasha can stop it for long enough, it's going to go well for Sasha. If Tainov is explosive enough, he might finish Sasha. Mm. But it's a super match, so many rounds so maybe it is likely that sasha will stop it at some point yeah he did with uh with paul in right 
yeah yeah but artem is also uh talking a lot on the media about how big he is getting so um artem must be also in a good shape yeah let's just take a guess i i, I would say it's still sasha but um artem is very good okay i'll i'll put uh, in a in a it's a guess and for Camille and for Sasha. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of these matches are like 50 50. This is why they're so great, in my opinion, right? Because it's so hard to predict. And more you think about one, you're like, yeah, but this guy could do this and this guy, right? So, yeah, it's, in arm wrestling, it's almost never, it's almost impossible to always be correct because people are coming in in different shapes. Sometimes one guy is just, and also you, you cannot even control it so well. Uh, of course, we are all trying to peak very well, but yeah. sometimes you try it and something goes yeah. wrong. And some... so you, you know that, that uh, you, you go to competition and you're like, you know, my, my ride kind of kind of a little bit icky, you know, feels weird. Left feels amazing. You suck on left and destroy yeah. on right, right? So many times, so many times. Well, you, arm wrestling is special in that way. Or sometimes, you know, you hope to feel very good and then something just doesn't feel right. And yeah. And the whole day is bad. And just... You can't find the connection or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have two female matches. One of them is Fia Reisek versus uh, Rosa Maria Costa. Uh, Rosa is a substitute for Irina uh, Gladkaya. Mm-hmm. So Rosa, isn't she heavier than... Yes. Yes. Super heavyweight. Uh, mm-hmm. Vice champion. I think and, 20- so, and she did look pretty good uh, during that East versus West qualification, I remember. Yes. Yeah, she won, right? She won, oh, yeah. Yeah, she won. I think she won. Yeah, she won. She won. Yeah. So she also beat uh, this Anna. Anna. Yeah, she beat Anna. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Fia is also Fia, Fia better is than Anna. Strong, but Fia was just sixty-five kilo world champ, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, quite an even match, maybe. Mm. Uh, let's hope. No, let's vote against Fia to make it more interesting. Yeah. Swedish girls love you. You know that. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. We know. Uh, oh, let's vote against Fia this time. Okay, so Rosa. Rosa. Yeah. Yeah, I just... Uh, Fia was here two weeks ago. She's strong. She's definitely strong. But it's like mm. with, with female armistice, it's sometimes like... You know, like someone will come pull with you, and they're like, "What level level am I?" You know, like I have no idea. Yeah, dude. no idea. Like, yeah, pull yeah, me you, in competition. You feel okay, but yeah, how do I know? Like, yeah, right, right. It's almost it's, the same as me pulling you. Like, I don't, I almost cannot really judge if you are strong or not strong. Yeah, just yeah. that far away. I'll I'll choke. Awkward, awkward silence. I'll choke you next time. I'll see you. Um, okay, right arm super match. Irakli Zirakashvili, Rustam Babayev. Uh, Rustam Babayev, I think, will get it quite easily. Just stylistically, I just I think that it should be quite easy for Rustam. Yeah, okay, no comments about that. No, uh, Irakli is pretty cool, but um. Um, yeah, stylistically, he's still struggling a little bit. Sometimes he can do very well against someone who doesn't know how to deal with that. But I feel like um, Babayev should, he's should be strong amazing enough. Amazing to get getting inside. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we also we were... that, that short arm. You know, sometimes for top for long top rollers, it's difficult to deal with that. The, like the last time, the thing that that I remember when he lost on a like in a class, in a class, in his class on a top roll, was Versermis in Zlodytor. Mm-hmm. I think you were there, right? Yeah, I was. Mm-hmm. Right, and even then, it was on fouls. Right. Right. Yeah. So he's. And the, Aramis was maybe he was maybe quicker, just jumping back. I think. I don't yeah. think Iraq is that quick. Iraq is just trying to squeeze it. And go slowly, and maybe Irakli will even pose too much. Um, have you seen Irakli uh, low handing a lot? Yeah, yeah, he low hands, he low I hands think, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes maybe not low enough. I don't... Yeah, yeah, doesn't that pressure maybe too much on a small finger, right? Yeah, 
Uh, well, you're definitely going to be biased here. Sara versus Egle. Yeah, so what can I say? Egle failed pretty hard last time, according to me. But Sarah. now she said that uh, she was trading the whole summer. Yeah. So she should be in okay shape. I will not trust Egle before she, she gives me a good win. So I don't know. Um, I wish Egle would show how good she is. But maybe she's also getting old. I don't know. Um, I'm saying Egle, of course. I'm saying Egle. But um, it seems a bit difficult, to be honest. It seems like Sarah is in a good shape. And, and mm -hmm. Egle is questionable. So I don't know. I don't trust Egle so much anymore. That was that was a good stint of five six years where she didn't care. She just comes and crushes everyone, yeah, yeah. So, and I think she lost all the motivation, right? And uh, it was just like it wasn't even interesting for her, right? Yeah, yeah. so she it doesn't seem like she's too motivated anymore, like somehow. Mm -hmm. But but, but I, I hope for this one, right? Because there's there's finally something going on in. Yeah, exactly. Like that's what I thought. You know, finally after that many years of dominating for no reason. Exactly. Maybe there, now there is some kind of reason. Maybe it's a little bit of money. Maybe some kind of exposure. Yeah. So if you have right. to do it, just do it now. <laughs> don't uh, don't come and lose now after dominating the whole time. Yeah. So it's just a pity for me to see her not doing too well. If when I know that she was so good in the past. Yeah. She was. Um, yeah. If if you don't know, you can Google how many world titles she has and. And if if she there was times when she lost just on accident, <laughs> right? Yeah. But, yeah. So uh, yeah, she's she's one of the best female pullers of all time, and uh, she's facing another great female puller, Sarah Backman, right? Uh, I don't know. I think yeah, if you if you okay, now, you Sarah is I Sarah has to cut five kilos to get to that eighty kilo limit. Uh huh. Okay. Which is interesting, right? So I I don't know who it favors, right? But I remember, you know, if you we look at Sarah and Egle in the past, like let's say ten years ago, Egle would uh, be yeah very, would get the win very easily, right? Like she, he would but that was that was much smaller Sarah, and I think you know you know or even like five years and much like, bigger, so, Egle, much bigger. Yeah, yeah, so Egle was just too big for Sarah. Yeah. So now I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. I I think it's another great match, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, so uh, let's hope this match happens. David Samushia, Engin Terzi. Yeah. Uh, I would almost suggest to Engin, maybe, maybe don't do the match. Take care of yourself. You know, he had some injury, some concussion maybe. Yeah. He will probably lose anyways. So why do it? You, you know, now he will do it because he's definitely watching. I, know, so I think Engin should just take it easy. You know, there's no big point in doing that. So if, if this match happens, David wins, you think? Yes. Yeah. But I hope that it goes... Maybe Engen can get around, oh, around one. I hope for that. Hmm. Because I still want Engen to be a little bit motivated after the loss. to Somehow, so he can still maybe drop down a bit more weight. Come down to 75. <laughs> And uh, I see someone seeking a revenge, right? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, um, both of us, I guess. Um, Zaur versus Georgi Tsvetko. You know, a lot of people have been talking about Zaur. He's been competing in AMC League. Yeah. Uh, did really well on first two, then got a bicep injury. Uh, still doing pretty well. Uh, a lot of people are ranking him really, really high. Uh, sometimes even higher than Vitali, even though Vitali just handled him, I think, very comfortably. But um, Georgi, I think, impressed a lot of people versus match versus right. All, pretty much every time he pulls, he's great armor, sir. How do you see that one? And they, you know, they have history, right? I think uh, they pulled one time and that's, Georgi. That's well, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, um, when I look at uh, Zaur, to me, he's very unpredictable. Georgi is much more predictable. I think Georgi will bring a pretty good shape. Um, the Zaur, like you never really know, he can easily tweak some muscle and then he would he might um, not do as well as we expect him to do. 
or maybe he can show up in a great shape no no pain no nothing and he'll just um clean the floor with georgi so i don't know i i just am happy for this to yeah to predict the match here i would have to guess how good is our gonna be um and i'm guessing that maybe georgi will stop the match at some point top roll versus top roll georgi is pretty good at that so um i really wish georgi would win so i will say georgi um right. it is a bit 50 50 for me but i hope georgi gets mm. okay we have john and sasha it's a it's not a title match it's a hundred kilo limit because uh john was 105 and he didn't want to like mm -hmm. John is almost 60 let's not let him <laughs> no need for him to cut weight or something right if he doesn't want to right yeah of course right so, I think yeah. people forget that that man is 60. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah um somehow I almost won uh Sasha to win I don't know why but maybe John was winning too much uh, he just won one he won one. He was on three match losing streak. What are you talking about with that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he was winning too much. Oh, some of John is just also very good. Maybe too good. Well, we, need, we need some new talent to take over. It's okay, finally he's the second greatest of all time. I have the greatest of all time here. He's just it's still in in, in the works, right? In ten years, we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. So even if I'm. Right, I, can, I still have time for that. Right, right exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. But um, the, you you saw him and pull uh, Voivoda. Were yeah. you surprised, or did you predict that also? Uh, let me remember. What did I say? No, I think I said that Voivoda would win. Hmm. Um, but not not very surprised either. Uh, so that was a beautiful match. Good top roll. I was surprised how John couldn't really finish him in the hook. I because, was expecting because, it. like he, like John's hand isn't what it used to be, right? And Voivod didn't want to go inside, so he was like he was. He was still defending it. Right? Still defending. He was never inside. It was never a hook, right? It never. It was never wrist to wrist. So, and John was so he he like he wanted that so bad. I just saw it in his eyes so bad. But yeah, it felt like John was somehow still deep enough. To start going sideways yeah but he the thing is his shoulder is still bothering him so he trying to get but his arm was very far off i think like he, he couldn't he wasn't close right it wasn't like nice close to mm. hook it was very open so it was a bit weird how well what i could still fight in that position because it yeah, I almost felt, felt to me like john was too deep it felt like it should not be comfortable for what to maintain that angle but somehow he did so Maybe he, Alexei, was just training, um, you know, in the gym quite a bit, and it, it looked like a gym strength more than arm wrestling kind of position. Mm. From yeah, from arm wrestler perspective, didn't look like a good position to sit in, but somehow he managed to to yeah to defend in that. So okay. So, so just think, 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 think about that. That was just a match. So now John is facing Sasha. Yeah. So let me see stylistically, what do we have? It's 100% hook versus whatever John. John will top roll, but I think knowing John, he will go in a hook. He will definitely go in a hook, 100%. But, but one, of, one of many rounds, he'll go in a hook. But so if John does not go in a hook, can Sasha still bring him in, cup him in? Or it might be a problem. Sasha can, should still be able to do it, right? John has a big like hand, big thumb, yes, but, big uh, yeah. but Sasha is smart enough. He'll just grip low and just kind He'll of do his low. thing. Yeah. So like, let's assume that Sasha gets in a hook. And then if John was not able to go through a water in a hook, then maybe Sasha just shows some kind of hook weakness. So maybe I would say that Sasha should still, I'm voting for Sasha here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sasha and uh, Kidrigali versus Todd. Uh, I'm saying Todd. Somehow I see it going quite easily for Todd. 
just stylistically you think it's just the, his his approach of not giving a f about anything just going sideways right well well i don't know why people why do people think that he's not uh that he's just doing whatever i think like he's doing a very smart he's very smart, specific yeah. technique which yeah. is yeah. which is very the effective thing is, the thing is if someone you know if someone takes his hand or it's it's not like oh we i got you right it's like he doesn't care right he's very comfortable there that's the thing a lot of people are comfortable and uncomfortable and i think todd is very comfortable where a lot of people just don't want to be right so when you get there and you're like nothing changed i think that's going to be kind of weird yeah. but the thing is that in many cases against many top rollers giving your wrist away a little bit and just mm, trying to keep keep flopping and going sideways that's the way to, to do it okay that's the smartest way to do it let, let me put some thoughts in your your mind let, so you think about this more yeah. uh kidri galvi in 2019 had a match versus what i call super prudnik right for two okay. and that was a close match right it was a good close match kidri okay, galvi yeah i remember he, some rounds probably prudnik struggled a little bit but but it wasn't it wasn't it a little bit. as soon as they uh, i think the strap as soon as uh, they put on a strap Kirigali won and without strap i think he won but Prudnik and... is not as comfortable in doing the flop yeah yeah but Prudnik went to todd easy that was easy yeah that, that was, was interesting how did Prudnik do that so quick yeah, it was explosive I... just jumped through okay michael todd todd hutchings lost to him Kidrigali beat him. Kidrigali faced smaller Todd, for sure, right? Right. Mm. Still doesn't change my mind. Style, stylistically, it's just too good <laughs> for Todd. I'm just playing Armistling 3D chess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And of course, everything can happen, but um, Kidrigali has to be extremely, extremely careful. Just a small mistake, small minor thing where something goes wrong and then Todd will just take over. Mm. So I feel like it's more like Kudur Gali has to really try hard. For Todd, it's more like um, he he should be more confident, I feel like. Yeah. Okay. I'll put you down for Todd. Uh, and the main event, Devin versus Dennis. You already said Dennis, right? Yep. Give me, give me your best reasons why Dennis um yeah so Dennis is obviously getting stronger so he should be like muscular wise in a pretty good shape but then his joints and style almost like a king movish dragging back pressure I feel like it could be quite effective against Devon mm. mm. Okay. Maybe maybe Devon cannot even take his hand fully. And mm. I feel I can see Dennis hanging Devon up a little bit. Maybe the other people don't see it, but somehow to me I can see it happening. Like you, you, you have you seen, yeah, of course you have seen Dennis just pulling many people where he just kind of sits back a little bit and the same way he pulled John. Yeah. It's it's a really strong thing he he's got he has it's going strong, on. So. But, uh, well, uh, Think about this. What well, Devon is doing pretty much the same thing, right? But Devon always advances position, and Dennis most of the time is just sitting in that position. Just, just he, he, he literally is so strong that he just waits till everyone yeah. else dies out, right? With Devon, it might be different because Devon will advance position. He will make that hand work. He will make that pronator. So I'm thinking but about it's difficult to advance, you know, when somebody is almost king moving, king's moving you like that. It's, yeah. You don't have much space to to move around. Mm. So I don't know. You think it's going to be uh, like concisive victory 3 0, or do you think it's it might change a little bit and might be warish? Or, or oh, it's it just going to be, be a war? Like it's just it might be a war. I feel like it's a war. Yeah. I don't think it will be too easy. For Dennis, but um, somehow I can see, even if it's strange to say, but I see how Dennis can even outlast that one a little bit here. Just stylistic matchup really matters, I feel like. 
Okay. Well, I'll put you down for Dennis. I says. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I, I, I think it's going to be an amazing event. I, I can't wait. Like we talked about most of these matches. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we talked about most of these matches, and uh, a lot of these matches are 50 50, right? Like it's very hard to predict. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I think that's that's the magic Close. of this event. This this is why I think it's probably the best we have seen. Um, okay, do you have anything uh, for for you coming up? Any super matches? Any any anything that you can talk about now? I don't think I can really talk about it yet, but I have something exciting, especially in January. It's January. Okay, yeah. nothing in November. No. Okay. That's then. Then I'm thinking about different Mendelis. What do you mean? Something in Sweden. Uh, uh no, no, no. Must be no. No. Okay. No. Okay. 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 Yeah. But yeah, can I just say one more thing? I remember a couple of days ago I was thinking about um, the card here also. Okay. And I remember, like in the, I almost like I was thinking like how. Why am I interested in armor sling? Like, what what am I expecting to see? Um, and I remember those days, like the, my early days, uh, when I was also watching Devon and Dennis a little bit. Uh, so Eastern Europe versus US. And I remember really, for me, it was so interesting how um, some smaller, skinnier guy can be quite strong and still effective against super muscular guys. So, for example, Devon, in my eyes, he was like uh, you know more natural guy um so i was really like thinking okay come on devon devon uh, let's I, I was really hoping that he would win so uh i feel like the big part of my interest in armor sling is for me just to see matches where someone who is a bit smaller can can be very technical maybe very conditioned and can still beat some uh, super muscular guys and I was thinking that here, maybe I'm not seeing, you know, for example, Den Dennis and Devon are both quite big now, both on something. So I'm, it's nice to see for me, but I, it's not necessarily what I'm looking not, for. Yeah, it's not my, I'm not playing that game. So, so I'm not necessarily too interested. Of course, I will maybe watch and it's cool to see, but um, mostly I'm, yeah, for, to me, it's interesting, like Sasha versus Berzang. Who else is natural on the card? <laughs> uh, I would think it's Gali for sure. Either Gali, yeah, for example. Yeah, exactly. Women. Oh. Um, to to Yeah, well, there's there should be definitely so these matches are, are going those to... are the ones I'm looking for. Yeah. Um, yeah. The rest, of course, I, I, nice I, I understand. I I'm I'm there with you. I'm there with you. And uh... because you know, like if we play that game. I cannot relate to the guys who are on something, right? They are maybe just too far away playing a different game. So I want to relate to the athletes who I'm watching because um, our wise, uh, yeah, it's not so interesting. Yeah. But yeah, just wanted to say. Yeah. I know, like, there's, I forget which one was, but uh, there was some events where you could see, like, the natural guys competed, right? And demolished everyone, like, in their competition. Uh -huh. You, you know what I'm well, that's, yeah, so that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, uh, well, it, it is what it is with this situation. And, uh, yeah, right now, this is why we still need WF. We still need EAF. We still need uh, this for everyone to come join the sport. Because uh, how I got into the sport may be different when someone else is getting into sport right now, right? Um, yeah, for us, it, it it's different. It's just, you know. I don't need to explain to you. Uh, yeah, well, I will not take more of your time. I know it's past your bedtime already. Should we look at some of the comments? <laughs> some of the comments? Uh, yeah, okay, I haven't looked at the comments all throughout the stream. What do we have? Dennis probably can curl Devin. <laughs> Dennis definitely could curl Devin. Yeah, Devin is coming in like uh, 115 kilos. 115 kilos. Who? Devin. Devon. So why is he so light? Because he uh, he felt that the the gain that he was getting from 
being bigger, the strength, right? Was taking more away from him than winning, right? It was taking more endurance, everything else. Like every, I remember he was facing and he was big, like 290 pounds, it was 130 kilos or something. He was facing uh, Michael Todd. And he was just sitting and eating all the time. Like, because his mm-hmm. body doesn't want to hold, like for you too, right? It's hard to gain weight. Your body doesn't want that. And his body just hates that. So I think it's it's all... Yeah, but now he's also playing a different game. So it's a little bit... He could maybe... It, the thing is, he, I, I don't think he can. I think he has to... Even when he's maybe. playing a different uh-huh. game, he has to push himself all the time. Like push himself. And you know, there's... Like I could just look at the food and I gain five kilos like this, right? Mm-hmm. I just smell bread and just... You know, and I don't think he he can. I don't think he can, right? Everyone like there's body types, and his body right, type right, just sure. doesn't mm. want that. Doesn't and I guess for super matches, yeah, keeping his endurance is nice. It's a good thing, um, because otherwise, uh, yeah, if he loses his endurance, it's it's a big tra- problem for him, right? It's it's his biggest asset, right? Yeah, the match versus Gennady. He yeah. lost on endurance, so right? his his whole style would have to change, right? If he is not no fighting he, based on the endurance and always he always likes to play he always likes to win long you know and if you just at one point you're the one that gassing out yeah, yeah. i right? must feel bad right? right yeah and uh i think he, it happened to him a few times till he understood like okay i don't need to get this big and i think a lot of guys like i think 11 walks around 160 170 kilo. that's what his body wants to be right he, he also uh of came course. back and wait a bit. He understood that. Ah, no, no need but, to. But that is, you know, in Devon, for Devon, it was just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And uh, yeah, we see a lot of guys that uh, fluctuate in weight with 30 kilos. Yeah. 30. Oh my, uh, uh, Elliot Orgy, oh my God, the goat is here. You're welcome. Yes. Um... So yesterday I asked Sanders to give advice uh, or say something for for the people watching. Say say something. Give, I give... actually saw that last bit of Sanders saying, "No, no advice, no comment." Like, yeah, doesn't care. So should I say something? Say something. What can I say? Uh, let me think a little bit. What? So is, it must be some kind of advice or what? I don't know. So. Give me some direction. Why, why do you like arm wrestling? And why should anyone watching like arm wrestling? It's a good question, right? Mm. Uh, maybe, yeah, I don't really know. Why is arm wrestling so interesting and so exciting? But somehow it is really better than many other sports, even though on paper, when you look at it, let's say, for example, you know, I'm also doing jujitsu now. Jiu-Jitsu is such an interesting thing, so, um, very exciting, very natural to do, you know, some kind of wrestling. Um, That's so, why you wanted to take me down all the time. Ah, now, now I understand. Now I understand. You, oh, really? Okay. Putting me a toe lock and... <laughs> but yeah, so, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm still, I still cannot understand how come is arm wrestling winning against Jiu-Jitsu in, in my eyes? Because we had some other guys in the club also, we did jujitsu for a while. At the end, everyone still came back to arm wrestling, and so I don't know what is it about it, but um, there must be something in it. So, what do you think? I like um, I, I like training. It's part of my life, right? I train this way. I train every day because I just I lo- I like right. I love. It. Doesn't matter what. But uh, so well, you could train many other sports also every I day. Do. I train hmm. three minimum of two hours every day, minimum, right? Uh, and I love arm wrestling. I just yeah. love getting on table and arm wrestling, winning, losing. Like the practice part is just great for me. And then when you feel good, the competing part is also when you put away where you don't care about losing, right? And you want to just enjoy. It's all like this. My best super matches were the ones where I just enjoy. I'm like, Mm -hmm. I'm going to arm wrestle this guy. Right. Or it's a puzzle I need to break. That's also what I like. Arm wrestling is like also problem solving. Right. Sometimes someone is just really strong and you're like, 
what are you doing? What are you doing to me? How can I find the specific way to stop what you're doing, right? And then it's, I, I just, I love that part. I just love getting on the table and armor sling. I just love that part. It's hard. Maybe, to maybe it's that good feeling when you feel like, you are overpowering someone so you know i see for me it's when i overpower it's not interesting it's it kind of loses it at start it was winning was very important now for me more important is if it's a lot like we start and i give you something right if i like if i let's say i'm armistice someone i can beat right mm -hmm. not 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 like the strength difference is not too big but i could be comfortably i'll give up something and then I need to get it back or need to figure out another way. That's the important part. When it's a struggle, when it's, you know, kind of long match, when, you know, I can I can survive and you couldn't. That's for me is the ah, right now. <laughs> but, yeah. And also, I guess with progress is nice to somehow follow because you feel stronger, stronger, stronger. And of course, of course. Yeah. And then you go, it's, it's uh, I think mentally, a lot of people, it's, uh, I think a lot of people have talked about this, especially when they were afraid of losing, right? And this is a part, and uh, I still don't get it how, because I had it, but I was like, at one point, I just get rid of it. But most people will have it. They're afraid of losing. And I'm thinking like, when you go to practice, you lose all the time, right? When you go, like, you get in someone put in a position and they get just run like, yeah, just no one cares, right? When when there's competition and stakes, you think, oh, you know, everyone's watching me. Just don't be afraid to lose. You know, you, you lost, but someone was better. You did something wrong. Figure out which one of these two things you did, and it's fine. Just move on, right? You beat me. You were better. It's like, I couldn't do nothing. You were better. That's it, right? It's also I interesting, you know, at the beginning, our ego and natural humans are just like that. You might care a bit more about losing or winning at the very beginning right yes and then you get into the you understand how it is you know you understand that you will keep losing so all the champions are normally they go through it and they almost have no big problem in losing they just okay yeah. it is what it is if, if you look at what we do right now let's say someone loses a super match the people like the the athlete cares less than everyone around them exactly so, yeah. everyone's like oh my, like they, are you they, okay? You know, I do. And 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 they're like, you're shit. You were never good. You know, that's another part. They're like, you're you're. Uh -huh. Don't care. They don't care. They're like, you you go to armistice. We go to let's say when we started, we go to 10, 15 armistice tournaments a year, right? And if you're not like the baddest of the bad, right, you will lose some. Yeah, you will win some, right? All the time. I think arm wrestling is one of those things that's it's same as jujitsu. It's very humbling. You will all right. be put in your place and you have to deal with it, right? A lot of people, this is why a lot of people don't stay in arm wrestling because it's so hard. Like you train, you still can't, you can't figure out the puzzle. You're thinking about getting stronger while you need to be thinking about getting more technical, right? And then when you're, when you're technical, you need to be thinking about getting stronger. And it's it's continuous, this, this um, battle. One more interesting thing I noticed that sometimes, you know, people keep losing a lot and winning sometimes and they get better, better, better until they reach a very good level. And then at that level, they almost stop losing a little bit. So suddenly they start to care again a bit more about not losing, you know. Yes. So yeah. that is also another thing. For example, I would not like to start caring about losing even if now I completely mastered arm wrestling. I would yes. still, I want to be humble. You need to be humble. You yes. need to. Uh, it's it's not that you didn't know something. You just need to be reminded of something. Yes. Yes. This is this is how it like uh, like Jan has been arm wrestling for what is it like twenty five years something like that like long long time ago. So he has like I'll, I'll sometimes we'll go and talk with him like I'll I need to do this I figure out this I need to do this exercise and he's like definitely he has done it at some point he just needs to be reminded he's like uh -huh. yeah. I forgot about this, right? So there's a lot of times where someone will come to me and ask a question and I'm like, oh, I forgot about this, right? I just forgot no, yeah, that it. happens a lot, actually. Yes, we need to be reminded. We definitely need to be reminded. And it's either winning, losing, but you need to be reminded of things. You know, I, I, we don't remember a lot of things. 
especially when you start doing good. Uh, it's like, let's say my shoulder hurt and I did exercise to get it better. And when it get better, I stop doing the exercises, uh -huh. right? Yeah, and then it starts hurting again. And you're like, what do I do now? Uh -huh. don't, don't stop exercising. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I don't know. It's but, hard to explain why I love Armour's Link to someone. It's it's hard. But as soon as, I think for, for most people, the easiest way for them to like the sport is when they get the first win. Like when yeah, they... That's the easiest. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're like, ah. Oh, right the problem is most of the time let's say you start novice amateur pro right let's say here in latvia and the difference between let's say novice and amateur is here and amateur and pro is here mm -hmm. it's hard oh so it's gonna be a hard journey even. it's anyway. hard journey yeah 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 um but anyways i guess thank you for the talk hey always a pleasure I love you, buddy. You're my father. <laughs> Let's and, uh, just have another match someday. Yeah. Well, I'll I'll hope you one day you're gonna either I'm gonna go visit you or you're gonna come here and we can do nice big big practice as usual. Sure. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's a link to Mindalga's channel. He's doing you're doing weekly podcasts, right? As well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just uh, yeah. having have some thoughts. Of... How you mastered Armas? Yeah. Yeah, so everyone who wants to master Armistice, go and check it out. Uh, his channel link is in the description. You can find it there. Thank I got you. some new idea just recently where I'm planning to review some exercises on the internet. You know, maybe you are recommending something and I would uh, critique them. So oh. uh, there's a high chance that I would talk bad ab about you. I would, I would love to see you critiquing exercises. Yes. I would love to see that because then I can do another video of me, me looking at you talking about yeah, yeah. Amazing. responding to the critique, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So I'll try to find some bad exercise advice from you. Uh, and, do, it. Uh, do it. Do it. Well, okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Minogus. Thank you guys for watching. Stay strong. Love Armistice. Bye, Minogus. Sure.